Are you busy, Arthur? Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. Está claro que me vaya puta no me. So where do we find this friend of yours? Roads. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well. Lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got a bow around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I'd done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. Vale. A lo mejor va siendo hora de que se pegue una ducha el pobre Arthur. Come on. Hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The wickedness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. He's also one of the. What did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. What the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. 
River roads through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Okay, let's go. This way. can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, Strawberry, could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to Strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. <clears throat> We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? All right. Here we are. This is the spot. Okay. This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. <laughs> I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden, very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. ahead and get the coach to stop you hang back don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing a small show, but would you sing something for me? I, I'm looking for a mezzo soprano. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. Miss Damson, 
You owe it. I got a train to catch. Oh, would you be quiet, you horrible little man? One more time, from the top. Madam, I've heard enough. Might I have your card? The event is on the 23rd of this month. I can't say enough about Mrs. Damson. Magnifique. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. Ah, está tudo bem. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's always good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Coño, cuánta pasta tenía la cabrona esta. you well, looks like you boys had some trouble <sighs> yeah we had some trouble bad trouble what you want oh I was supposed to meet some business partners here they arranged a meeting I believe a fellow with a scar and a Mexican yes sir out by the stables I think thank you and uh sorry for your troubles friend El más respetuoso, ¿sabes? ¿eh? Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. And that ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? 
We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on a boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you. Five thousand. Five thousand? For horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these five thousand dollar horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Hell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you fifty cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbreds. Coming through. All right. Torched his tobacco crop. That was you? The old man was cursing the Braithwaite's about that. Burning rich folks' property? Sean was like a pig in shit. I'm sure. Five thousand for horses. They must be rich. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that. Now how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. This is the place! Hiya! <laughs> Vale. Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But... Perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let's head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. Hold. Adelante. I need a man. Just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. Ah! All right, let's hitch up here. Let me do the talking. you boys I hope so heard you got some horses we always got horses fine horses 